right, so uh, I had someone ask some questions about how to customize the uh, volume settings and the uh, price settings for the pre-market gap scanner uh, add-on that I, I've created. So instead of uh, custom programming a, a you know one that meets uh, everybody's parameters, I thought maybe it would be um, ideal if I just go ahead and do a tutorial video real quick to show everyone how to customize their their own parameters in the scanner in case you know in the future they you know they want to have uh, the ability to change that uh, at any point. So what we're going to do uh, in your Thinkorswim installation, you go to the scan tab and make sure stock hacker is selected here. Go to basically to the scanner where you would use the uh, pre-market scanner. And we're going to, for instance here, we're going to load the uh, all pre-market gap scan. That should be part of the package you purchased. And um, so if you make any changes here, so see we can change this to be like to look for stocks that are a minimum of $5 and currently it's set to a maximum of $200. So we can change this to whatever values we want, um, but those changes won't stay applied next time you switch to this scanner. Uh, if you go, so say I go and select um, uh, another scan here and then switch back, to the all pre-market gaps. Now those changes have not been saved. It used to be 193 here. I, I scroll it down to 193 or something here. But uh, so it goes back to the original save value. So if you want your any changes that you make to this scan to be uh, permanent and to stay uh, every time that you load it, you're going to go to this little menu right here in the corner. Click load scan query then down to edit, and then choose the same one from the list. So and then it's going to pop up a window with all these same parameters that you had in the main window. But this will be this will allow you to make changes and then click save down here to, uh, to make those changes permanent. So what I'm going to do here, just for instance, I'm going to make this um, a minimum of 50 cents and a maximum of $6. I'm going to say the volume minimum is 200,000. Um, actually, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to say no minimum on volume. Maximum volume, I'll just take, okay, I guess the it has to be 100 million. And then uh, instead of putting a volume minimum here, I'm going to put an average volume. So this particular rule set right here, this line, says it makes sure that the average volume is significant. And I've defined that as the average volume is greater than or equal to 500,000. So over the past uh, X number of days, uh, it has had a average volume, average daily volume of at least 500,000. So I'm going to click in here, and uh, so volume average, The last 50 days is what is the default here. And I have 500,000 programmed in here, but I'm going to change that to 200,000. Click Save. Click OK. And so now you can see that the volume average is greater than or equal to uh, 200,000. And then, um, and so you see that I've, I'm going to be scanning for stocks that are at least 50 cents, less than $6. Uh, no volume requirement here because this is checking, like if I run this first thing in the morning, there may not have been any volume run, uh, this morning yet at all. And, you know, if the market, the pre-market hasn't started yet or if it just hasn't done any volume in the pre-market yet, then it might not have any, uh, any volume to display here. But it could still be gapping down due to the aftermarket from last afternoon or something like that. So I'm going to leave that at zero so it'll pull all stocks, but it will qualify that by making sure that the average volume is at least 200,000. So it's, you know, it's not going to be a junk stock or whatever. And then I would just click save here. I'm going to hit cancel just because I don't want to change my own setup here. But you would just click save here, and that would apply it 
uh, so that when you go in here and load personal and uh, choose the all pre-market gaps again, then it would pull in all those new changes that you had just saved. Then you could click scan and, uh, and those changes would be applied to, the, to this scan. So uh, I hope that answers uh, uh, any questions you might have had about how to um, customize this. Uh, another thing that you can also customize is after you go into that load, edit, and choose the, the scan that you want to edit, um, you can also customize the average true range. See, I have it set up to say the average true range of the last 50 days, I want that to be greater than or equal to 50 cents. So I want a, a stock that typically has a daily range of at least 50 cents. Um, but that can be customized to whatever you want because everybody has a different style of trading. So that's, uh, that's how you would customize that line as well. Uh, this is the main one that you're not going to want to edit anything. And this is where the, um, uh, this particular line item is where the logic that helps find the pre-market gaps uh, reside, so you don't want to mess with that too much unless you want to, uh, unless you know what you're doing as far as uh, with ThinkScript and everything. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate it.